I've always had an interest in writing. I started writing probably as soon as I was able to hold a pencil and, uh, and, and I learned to write. I started writing stories. I've been a teacher for a number of years. I enjoyed reading stories to my children in class and to my own children at home too. And that rekindled my love of writing. And about 10 years ago, I started going to writing classes. And uh, I've carried on writing since then. Emmy Rees rushed out of school. He was carrying a big bulgy bag and waving a piece of paper. He met a key at the school gates. What have you got there? The key asked as he gave Emmy Rees a hug. A very important list, said Emmy Rees. It tells me how to do dance the The idea really behind Welsh Cakes and Custard was to write something that I would have enjoyed reading to my own children at home when they were little and to the children I taught as well. I wanted it to reflect the lives of primary school children in Wales. I wanted it to show things like uh, practising for St David's Day and getting dressed up for Dydd Gwyl Dewi and uh, having cowl in school, which is what we still do in Carmarthenshire. Uh, Bessie Wayne and Emma Rees are friends and they're both in school together. Uh, they're experiencing new things in school, like having school dinners and uh, being invited to parties. Their grandparents are very important in the stories as well, and they have a very understanding and fun relationship with them. My children were um, very close, or still are very close to their grandparents, and I thought it would be quite nice to have uh, stories that reflected the importance of grandparents and uh, their role in young children's lives. Good. And some flower. Can you see the flower? Can you help them point to the flower? Yes. yes. Well done, Emily. It's a fantastic yes. feeling to win the Tiran Anog, especially with my first book. It's very, very encouraging that I've had this award. It was very encouraging to read the judges' comments too. Tip the flower. Should we tip the flower into Go on, tip it into bit. That's brilliant. Great. There we are. Uh, I hope that um, winning the award will um, bring the book to um, a wider audience, perhaps. So it's a fantastic feeling, and I'm, I'm really very, very excited by it.